Shalom, 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 Israel. Brother Jose coming at you once again with another video. Giving all good and honor to Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shah. Yahweh, who the world uses God, and Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, you know, in the Hebrew. So I just want to make this quick video. It's been on my spirit uh, driving right now, so, you know, not going to be able to. Uh, you know, quote the scripts head on, but roughly paraphrasing. Uh, before I get into it, you know, once again, I give all glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. And I just want to say, uh, Shalom to those on the highways and hedges, you know, waking up the lost sheep, the house of Israel, stealing this thing, you know, present their bodies to live a sacrifice, you know, going out in the elements, in the heat, in the hot, hot weather hot summer and the rain, you know, doing all they can to make their calling of an election sure and showing their love for their people these last days, man. Shalom to those that's not on the highways and hedges, but more so get built up in the spirit, fasting, praying, meditating day and night, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of their ability. Shalom to y'all. And, you know, to the women in this thing, the wives, you know, those that's reverencing their husbands and keeping their kids, you know, in this thing as well. Shalom to y'all. To the women that's not married, shalom. Peace and blessings to y'all as well. Present y'all bodies and live a sacrifice and doing all y'all can for the most high. Shalom. So I just want to get into it, uh, mainly talking about Revelation 3 and 11. You know, holding fast what you have, you know, the most high come quickly. You got to be meditating day and night and you got to have it on your mind because you never know when, you know, things are going to be done. You never know, you know, when judgment is coming, you never know. You know, Revelation 3 and 11 has been on my spirit a lot, you know. And it was on my spirit to make this video, you know, the most high, you know, he, he does whatever he wants to do. He can do whatever he wants to do. He's the one that's doing everything and, you know, how everything is in life. That's how, that's, that's the most high, man. That's all the most high. So, you know, hold that fast that no man take thy crown, you know, it's not saying, you know, an actual crown. Like you're going to, you know, have some type of uh, uh, glorification from other men. But, you know, that crown is your faith, you know, keeping these laws, that's just commandments, you know, going on, going on the highways and hedges and, you know, doing what you was through the spirit told to do. That's what that crown represents, man. So you got to hold that fast, regardless of what's going on around you, regardless of what you got to endure, because we all got to endure, you know, you got to hold that fast. Revelation 3 and 11, I didn't want to make this too long, you know, just roughly paraphrasing. And Revelation 22 and 12 also talks about that, you know, you will get that reward when Hamashiach, the Messiah, Yahweh Shah returns. You know, his reward is with him. He coming quickly, as it also states in Revelation 3 and 11. So I just want to encourage, encourage all men and women, ox and aquats, to, you know, hold fast that no man take your crown. You know, you got to keep your faith in the most high in these last days, regardless of what's going on, regardless of what you got to go through. Because there's, going, there's times coming where things that we've never seen before, things we never had dealt with we never experienced is gonna be on a bigger and 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 more spiritual scale. So if you can't get through these little battles now, you know, you need to be praying and meditating and asking the most high to build up your faith. And asking the most high that no man can take that crown. Because demons will come. Spiritual demonic spirits will be sent your way and will try you. And we all will be trying in that last day. So I just want to encourage y'all. Revelation 3 and 11. Revelation 22 and 12. 
So with that, you know, I just wanted to give a quick, you know, exhortation. You know, brother Jose and Fisherman for Zion giving all glory and honor to Yahweh by Shimmy Shah. Peace and blessings to all. Shalom.